Ah, LA, the city of sun, palm trees, dreams, and cars. Cars, cars, and more cars. Though glamorized in pop culture, LA is really just an absurd collection of strodes, traffic jams, and suburban hellscapes. Really, the only way to get to places quickly, and that's only relatively speaking, is by car. So today I'm seeing whether it's actually possible to get around LA using only public transport. And I'm not just talking about your typical tourist destinations like Santa Monica or the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I'm thinking more like, what is an actual commute on public transport like in LA for a regular resident? Say you want to commute to work, or you want to head to a particular supermarket, a particular attraction, like, you know, Long Beach or something, or you want to head to your favorite restaurant like I'm doing today. I'm a big fan of Asian food, and the San Gabriel Valley, or 626, is renowned for its Asian food. And today, I'm in Westwood, and I'm gonna try to see what the journey is like from Westwood to Temple City in the 626 is like on public transport. I've never actually done this by bus or train before. I've only ever driven there. It's around 40, 50 kilometers away. So I guess let's see how it works out. Now I think that Westwood here in West LA is actually a fantastic case study to see how effective LA's public transport system really is or if it really is just hot garbage because it's not located near any major train lines. There is the Expo line, which is around a half an hour bus ride away or a 10 minute drive. And I suppose that if you do live near a train line, it's not really representative of the average LA public transport user's experience. So, there's also the fact that the next train line to Westwood won't actually be finished until apparently 2026. That's what they're saying at least. So, I've had a look at the route for today and it looks like we have to take three different services. So, a bus, a train, and a bus. So, let's try to catch the first bus here from Wilshire Boulevard and see how long that takes. I'm not too sure if the bus has come early because my Google says it's meant to arrive in seven minutes, but it's here and the bus stop is across the road. So let's see if we can make it. Okay, we got a green. Seems like we might just make it. That was close, so I wasn't actually sure if we'd make that. It is now 10.04 and the bus was meant to arrive at 10.11. So I guess this is come early. Although with LA buses, you never know. I've definitely had times where I've waited for a bus and it's never come. So there's also that. Paying for the bus is pretty simple. All you have to do is download the Tap LA app, load some funds, and then tap it on the machines in the bus. Today's bus was quite clean and empty, which was great. But it was also really hot since the air conditioning was off, so it was pretty steamy inside despite it being a relatively cool day in LA. It was also quite noisy and bumpy, but for $1.75, it wasn't too bad of a deal. I soon arrived at Koreatown, my next stop, where I'd be switching onto a train for the next leg of my journey. Alright, here we are at the first stop, we just got off the first bus. It is 10.38, so we were on there for around 34 minutes. And I'm now headed into the LA Metro. Okay, so I don't think, I don't think it's charged me because we've done a transfer and uh, most public transport systems in the world, if you transfer transport modes, within a certain time window, like maybe half an hour to 19 minutes, um, it doesn't charge you extra, which is fantastic. So, uh, here we are at the train station. This train station was quite clean and well lit. There's information screens which tell you how long it is until the next train, and it appears that they operate on a frequency of 15 minutes on the weekend. There's also this helpful map of the LA Metro Rail Network. It covers a decent amount of LA, Although, there could definitely be major, major improvements to cover more areas. So, this train I'm actually catching is on the purple line, and at the moment, this is a terminating stop for these trains. You can see here that uh, it just kind of ends abruptly right there. But, the Metro's new projects, they're actually extending this all the way down to where I just came from in Westwood, further in West LA, which will be fantastic once it actually gets done. 
The train pulled into the station a few minutes later. I went on board to see what it was like. Alright, we're now on board the train on the purple line down to downtown LA. First impressions, it's a little musty, uh, the train is not the most well lit, um, although I have been on a similar train in New York like this. And, um, yeah. and there's also stuff like that, which is, um, I don't know, the guy was behaving a bit weird, so just for a precaution, I'm going to move to a more populated carriage with more people. But just when I thought I'd gotten away from all the madness, it was about to get even better. Civic Center Station in downtown LA. I think that was probably one of the scariest train rides I've ever had in my life. Um, before I continue, let me just find the exit. So, um, I think my bus is arriving in a few minutes. It's actually funny how things work out in LA because um, you can't really rely on Google Maps for like an accurate schedule. It's just good for like a general idea of how to plan your route out. Um, and like roughly how long it's going to take to do things, but uh, never trust it. Oh my god, this is so tall. That is incredibly tall. Um, but yeah, so uh, hopefully I can catch my bus in time. But uh, yeah, no, I, uh, I've been on metro systems all over the world, and I just, and even even New York does not compare to that experience there. Just the volume of people, like really weird people crazy people, it's just like, insane. Um, and the last time I took the, the red line, a couple of years ago, um, or the purple line, it was also the same thing. Like, it was just really hard to, um, just walk around without seeing some guy, like, doing some crazy like that, or just, you know, like, a ton of homeless people, like, it's very sad. It's also very unsettling as, like, a regular public transport user, and this is during the day. This is like 11 a.m. on a random Sunday, so I can't imagine how it'd feel like if you were just here commuting at night, for example. Yeah, um, and like for reference, it's not like that on all the metro lines. Like the E line, which I've taken more often, um, definitely feels a lot better. Like I've never felt quite that unsettled. Like sure, there's like a, a few homeless people here and there, but it's never really that bad. But that was, I don't know, like I've never felt worried being on a train and. <laughs> That's just a very weird feeling for me as a, you know, someone who loves public transport and trains. The next bus I was supposed to catch was the 78 bus, which would have taken me directly to Temple City, but I'd missed it by a few minutes. Thankfully, the J-Line or Silver bus was right across the road, and this would take me all the way to El Monte, 
from which I could catch another bus to Temple City. Morning. Morning, how are you going? I settled down into my seat as we began the third leg of this journey. The J line is surprisingly really good. It gets its own dedicated bus line which runs along the 10 freeway, which means it's quite fast. The bus is also quite busy, as you can see by the number of people here, and it makes sense because you can get from downtown LA to El Monte in about 20 minutes, which is quite fast. Right, that was bus 3 done. Uh, pretty smooth ride actually, well relatively smooth, but um, yeah, now I'm at this station, El Monte. It's like this pretty big bus hub over here. Um, and I'm trying to figure out where to catch my last bus to my stop. So apparently the bus is coming in around uh, 26 minutes. But Google wasn't very clear about where to get it from. I assume it's somewhere here. But I'm trying to walk around. Let, let's find out. Hey, so excuse me. Um, do you know where to catch the 267 bus from? What number? 267. 267. Yeah. It's downstairs. I think it's Metro, right? Yeah, it's an orange bus. It's I think. Metro. Metro, downstairs. Metro, yeah, okay. it's downstairs. Thank you. Right here, no. Getting to where? Um, I'm going to Temple City. Yeah, it's downstairs. Okay, thank you very much. Right here, stink. Yeah, I know, it does smell, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, they're homeless, they always do that. Yep. That's why in your country, they don't like nasty people. Mm -hmm. If somebody uh, throw trash, they hit it. Yep. Good. Well, Good. Thank, thank you for your help, though. Yes, and I think it's right here. Check the numbers, look. Sure. Every single route is right there. Oh, 268. perfect. So you check the number, okay? Thank you so much. Have a good day. Alright, so which is very helpful. Uh, so it looks like I was actually wondering what was downstairs, and it looks like it's um, like a huge bus depot you can see here. So all the bus numbers are written here, and I've just found mine 267 on platform 9. Um, so I guess we'll wait here until the bus comes. Google says it comes at 12. Right now it's 11.37, so 23 minutes to do nothing really. Um, yeah, let's let's have a walk around this facility. Um, so this is my first time in El Monte, at least on. I don't even think I've been here by car, because um, most of the places I go to are a bit uh, closer to downtown, a bit more west. Um, and it's actually a really nice facility. It's pretty modern. There's a lot of buses here. Um, there's like you've got some arts as well on the top um, and it looks like there's different agencies operating here we have here Foothill Transit as well as the Metro which I'm going to catch obviously the Silver Line I got off of and yeah it's honestly not too bad um, the lift did smell and there are a few uh, homeless people here but besides that, this feels relatively safe, much safer than the, uh, the train. When 12 o'clock finally rolled round, so did my final bus. Line 267, Delmar, station. Oh, did that work or? Okay, thank you. For a second I thought my card had like a read error there, um, it wasn't showing up properly, but um, yeah, looks like we're all good now. So this is the final bus to Temple City from Hong Kong. It should take around 20 minutes from the Google. This goes on time, which is excellent. It's also air conditioned. Um, so yeah, already more comfortable than the first bus we took on the ship Boulevard today. Um, here we are heading off now, finding the station. This fourth and final leg of the journey was pretty uneventful and it only took 19 minutes to get from El Monte to Temple City. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we've now arrived at Temple City, the final destination. It is around a, I think, five to 10 minute walk to where I need to go. Um, got off a uh, stop early. Um, I guess it's both the same distance, honestly, but 
Temple City is just right up ahead, at least the main town center. And yeah, that was the fourth and final bus of the trip. It is now 12.16. So I have spent around two hours and 15 minutes on the public transport system in LA, which is quite a shocking amount of time to cover 50 kilometers. But even then, I'm actually surprised at the coverage of LA's public transport network. The fact that I can get all the way from West LA to here using just public transport for just $2.50 as well. Um, that's actually kind of impressive. But would I say LA's public transport is useless? I think so. Because I think part of a good public transport system is that it has to be a viable alternative to driving. And if it takes two and a half to three times longer than it does to get places on a bus or train, versus like a car, then it's not a very functional public transport system, is it? It's it's very, you know, inconvenient. If you have access to a car or an Uber, why would you go all this trouble to grab a bus to get some food when you could just drive there? When I checked the time to uh, get here on Google Maps this morning, it said it would take me around 40 minutes. So that gives you an idea of like the time difference between the two. Um, of getting here but um yeah i would not recommend this for anyone and i think things that la could do to improve public transport would be to improve the safety first of all like that train ride was was bloody scary like i'm not doing that again um i would feel very uncomfortable with the thought of having to go back and take the train um with you know it's just, it's just not very safe especially if you're just traveling alone and um if there were more frequency of buses too, and trains, that would make it viable, but, you know, it's kind of hard when the city is so sprawling, it's set up for people to drive everywhere. Not to take a bus, but to just hop in their car and go wherever they want because it just spread out over such a wide area. So, it's no wonder that people drive everywhere, because you kind of have to, again, when it takes us long to get a bus to get anywhere. We've made it to the restaurant, it's Banana Leaf over here. Uh, great Indonesian food. I would actually highly recommend it if you've never had Indonesian food before or if you love Indonesian food and you want somewhere good and authentic in LA. So um, yeah, I'm gonna cross the road, this really wide road, head over there, grab some food and uh, enjoy the, I don't know, the product of all this trouble to get here, right? Two and a half hours almost.